I'm going to share my exact process for generating high quality content using ChatGPT4. When I first started generating content using ChatGPT, I always used it as just brainstorming, coming up with keyword ideas, and generating quick copy. Like if I need to write up a, a creative brief for a designer and write up technical specs for a developer, I would just use it for those sorts of things. I also used it for planning a brochure design layout and we have a video on that if you want to check that out. That's how I always use it and that's and I always thought that okay maybe we could get some some first draft content out of it and we did and and but then we reiterate it a bunch with manual writing. Well ChatGPT 4's quality is so much higher, wow. especially if you have the correct inputs in the beginning, that that first draft is like almost ready to go. Like you run it through a plagiarism checker and then you put your, your own expert voice on it, and which I'll show that you can actually get a lot of your expert voice already in the, the first draft of the content coming from ChatGPT4 because if you prime ChatGPT4 properly with a background, telling it who you are, what your, your voice tone is, all that sort of thing, your writing style, it sounds a lot like my work <laughs> right on the first go. So it's pretty wild wild and yeah I don't know it's, it's really changed it I'm just knocking content out left and right so I wanted to share exactly what I'm doing and then there's gonna be a link in the description for you to, to get these exact prompts so make sure to stick around to, to watch it so that I, so you know how I'm using the prompts but then go click on that link and go get the prompts so here we go let's let's get into this high quality content SEO ready chat GPT for first thing we need to do is prime ChatGPT. So as you can see on the screen, background, style, tone, and confirmation are the first things that we're gonna be adding. The next prompt is what I like to call the summary prompt. It's giving a summary that you can write out real quick about overall what you're trying to achieve with the piece of content. This next prompt is focusing on the target audience and the objective of the success story. Something very important to note, at the end of each prompt, you should see, do you understand or do not write, please, I have more requirements. That's very important so the ChatGPT just doesn't spit out the content real quick. The last prompt after priming, is asking ChatGPT for additional questions to make the content as best as possible. I'm asking ChatGPT right here if it has any questions that can make this better. And you can see, yes, here they come. There's me getting anxious about probably writing these. I'm not a good writer, so yeah, all right. So then I'm gonna take these questions and paste it into the message. I recommend pasting into a Google Doc and working on it first, but yeah, I'm just, in this case, I'm just going for it. And there we go. I read this as I went and I know what I'm going to change, but yeah. First draft right here. You can hit this copy board and then paste it in. I did find that if you want to keep the headings and stuff, you go to the bottom and then go up. It's easier that way. Copy, paste. You have the headings and now you want to get rid of this gray thing. So you go to, you highlight it, you go to format, paragraph styles, borders and shading, background color, none. And there you go, you have a first draft of a success story. And I'll probably change it, but it's in a it's in a way better place than it would have been if I written it myself. Or, you know, I probably if you get a copywriter, it could could be better than this. But for the budget that we have right now for creating this sort of these sorts of content, this will do. And then I can go in and just you know rewrite the parts that I want to change up, but it saves tons of time. It's just it's such a lifesaver. So there you have it. My exact process for how I generate high quality content using ChatGPT4. Make sure to check that link in the description below so that you can get these exact prompts and more. And please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Any questions at all, leave those in the comment comments below and I'll, I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. And I look forward to you joining me in my journey to unlock our digital potential. Take care.